Hello beautiful people of Ghana and beyond. I welcome you again to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'll be taking you guys to my hometown in Ghana. I'm not joking. I'm not playing. Biologically, I'm not Ghanaian, but I have a hometown in Ghana. And if you do not know, if you do not know my hometown in Ghana, please hit the subscription button. It simply means you are new here. For a lot of people that have been following my journey since I can't remember, they know where my hometown in Ghana is. <laughs> okay so i want to apologize because normally normally charity begins at home but in my case i was just everywhere i went to all the regions i went to all the towns i went to all the cities and i didn't go home but in today's video i'm taking you home up there on top of the incredible mountain of kweu ghana <laughs> I am from Kweu and I'll tell you, but I will explain that later in the video. So today I'm presenting to you one of the prestigious senior high schools in Ghana, located in Kwatia, Kweu, at the eastern region of Ghana. And by the way, I hope you're subscribed. If you have not, do so. And please do where to like this video as we go straight to St. Peter's Senior High School in Kweu. Yenko. <laughs> Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Today we're touring the campus of St. Peter's Senior High School. St. Peter's Senior High School, or PERSCO, is a Roman Catholic boys' senior high school. The school was established in 1957 by the Divine Word Missionaries and is located in Kwahu. <laughs> Right. 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 Right.
I'm a proud queer girl, okay? I remember when my beautiful sister Ama Jasmine asked me, Are you from Queer? And I'm like, No, I'm not from Queer, sis. I'm in Nigeria. And she was like, Okay, because you have so many videos. I mean, everything about Queer seems to be right there on your channel. And I'm kind of like, Okay, I thought it's your hometown and you are promoting. Well, but yesterday, someone that knows me from way back, he called me and said, Lily, what's going on? You have not gone home. To pay homage why haven't you gone back home the reason i said i'm from quill is because quill made me let me put my hand on my chest to say this again quill made me all right i started my channel back home in my home country nigeria i came to ghana with nothing in mind and then i went back and fought i went back to nigeria i came back i went back and then the third time i'll come back to ghana i happened to visit this incredible mountain and then everything changed for me Bwah. Just three days of climbing this mountain, my channel went from 4,000 subscribers to 7,000 subscribers in three days. Trust me, I made reasonable amount of money on you. That was when I knew that you can get money on YouTube from YouTube videos. We will open my eyes to all of that. I didn't know that you can make something tangible from YouTube tangible in the sense that i have not made such amount before if i tell you the amount some of you will be like is that, is that what you call tangible also some people will be like wow really yeah that's it Kweu is the reason i was able to move to ghana move my family that's my kids and my beloved niece i was able to go to nigeria i was able to get an apartment through my Kweu videos I Kweu opened me up like to so many people. Kweu exposed me to the world and Kweu forever. <laughs> now we are going to go back to meet the ex boys of this school. See, I'm sorry to say this, okay? Ghana is a very rich country, but Ghanaians do not know. Even if they, yeah, so what? Who help? Who reaches help? all right but i can tell you for sure that ghana is rich but you see this particular part of ghana this is my hometown everything here is doing the doings here is it's different you understand the biggest hotel in africa not west africa is located in Kweu, not far away from where the school is and you know what that means this this school ha has made the cream de la cream <laughs> this this school has produced incredible people st peter's alumni are not the regular so when i show you video take it like that and don't be intimidated okay take it like that the guys here are not the regular all right so now let's go meet the old boys of st peter's senior high school let's go meet them as they come back to give back in doings ah doings <music>
This morning, I'm happy to say that the 8789 year group commissioned four boreholes that would also improve the water supply for the comfort of the students. Mr. Chairman, there's a long list, but I would prefer not to list it all, but just to say that we are with the school. Richard Osei, I was Pescuba president for four years, I think 2015 to 2019. And this year is our 65th anniversary, 65th anniversary of establishing St. Peter's. And for our project as Pescuba, our old students of St. Peter's, we're looking to install smart labs that support the deployment of Education 4.0. Now, what is Education 4.0? If you look and study uh, around the globe, education is changing. The kinds of curriculum that are being deployed globally is changing because we're preparing students for the future of work. Something called Industry 4.0. History takes us through uh, first industrial revolution, second and third industrial revolution. And this is the fourth industrial revolution. The key components of the fourth industrial revolution are elements like AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things, coding, robotics, cyber security, data uh, security, and so on and so forth. What we seek to do is to put in place a tool. The smart lab is just a tool. It's just a means to an end to start shaping the minds of our students to prepare them for the future of work. So these smart labs will have a teacher laptop which has a learning management system and a classroom management system it allows the teacher to control the class it even allows the teacher to be able to set exams and mark it on the spot in that environment it also provides tablets for the students so in a class of 50 every student will have a tablet now because of the work we are doing with coding robotics and AI uh, going forward we will be introducing laptops as well to the students there is also uh, I mean if budget allows there is also the opportunity to install a projector or a permitting board there's a content access point which allows us just like your normal USB but with terabytes and terabytes of storage it allows you to put on any data uh, digitized test books the teachers uh, materials uh, it allows you to put on animation content videos it's a huge data storage but the beautiful thing about the content access point is that it creates a local area network which allows anybody with a device in a certain uh, local area 
is able to tap into that and download relevant information. just a few of the videos that i could find okay see i'm sorry i'm not to offend anybody ghana is like ghanaian sees themselves as equal ghanaian sees themselves ghana comes first okay where you come from is usually the least of ghanaians um you don't usually get people asking you where are you from where are you from okay maybe that is the because of the names or just the general nature of ghanaians wanting to deal with you as human not as your tribe but i have been to so many places in ghana i can proudly tell you have gone to so many places i've gone to border towns a lot of you that have been keeping up with me knows that i've, I've got lost like i've got at some point i got missing trying to go to somewhere <laughs> I got missing and I found myself at the border of Burkina Faso in Ghana. It's an interesting story. We'll talk about that another time. So I have been to every nook and corner of this amazing country. So when I'm telling you about Ghana, try to listen to me. Kwewu is one place that everybody loves. Kwewu in Ghana. Kwewu is like money in Ghana. When it concerns Kwewu, an Ashanti man is interested, a Votarian is interested, a Ga is interested, a Northern is interested when it comes to quail. I don't know why. All right. Okay. So, but that is how blessed this mountain is. So when you see all this guy and doings, just take it snowman. Okay. <laughs> My hometown. <laughs> We are going to go back to the school and do random tour. Let's go back to this larger than life school and do random tour and I will be back. Let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, Oh! 
yes so welcome back okay <laughs> I, I don't want to like um i'm going to use this opportunity to apologize to my audience especially to the elderly people on my channel who felt like sometimes lily you have to put it together a lot of people are watching you somebody asked me if i would like to meet a very important figure in ghana and i said yes but with a condition and the person asked me what what condition is that i said i'm going to change my name i said i will lie when i get there i'll tell the person the figure the public the you know the oga at the top not the president come on mind there i said i would tell the person a fake name and the person was like oh why i said because i don't want the person to go on youtube and see me fighting yeah it doesn't like the person will look at me and look at my youtube videos it would be like the person will be disappointed i want to use this opportunity to apologize to you guys my elderly audience if i have you know at some point i have spoken harshly to other people i'm sorry i'm just a young woman trying to figure life out and because i'm very passionate about other people some Sometimes I get emotional when people don't understand the message I'm trying to pass. I like fairness, you know, I like to see everybody do well. Not necessarily that doesn't make me a good person. That is I'm not in any ways trying to be an angel, but I like to see everyone feeling all right. I am not that type that will see someone in pain, see someone in need, see a neighbor of mine struggling and then I will be fine. I don't feel good. Okay, I don't feel good. The way my life is for me, I wish others to can get it. And because I do not have the resources to go around to help people, it hurts me when they system is not giving that to the common man to, to benefit from as for me right now by the grace of god i have you know i i can just continue to live in ghana and act like nothing concerns me but it's not in my person okay so if i have used harsh words on my channel on people please forgive me okay um i'm not in any way saying that this will not happen again but in case it comes i'm sorry please don't be angry but is this how to apologize exactly not really so i just want this something like this in my own country you see all the schools we have in ghana all the schools i have visited i mean i have taken it you see all the schools that I have been hyping loving praising and all that we also have the same share given to us by these churches and uh, you see by all these missionaries that, that established um, schools in Ghana did the same thing in my beloved country but it feels like the moment they handed it over and left that was the beginning of the downfall of these institutions and then it kind of hurts me when i don't see that you know in my own country so i'm sorry if i have used harsh words okay and um they said i should do a video without calling nigeria it's not going to be possible from time to time i'm going to refer back to my root which is nigeria if you are a ghanaian man and you have a you have a child you have a child in nigeria you have just neglected that child you are not in the life of that child you are not there you just leave that child there with the hope that one day you are going to go back there and bring the child to ghana i want you to know that you may just be the cause of you are just going to be the reason the future of ghana may be you know struggling otherwise do it now go be in your kids life i have a couple of nigerians who fathers who fathers are ghanaian uh, but they are not the same the ones that their fathers were in their lives all true they behave different the ones that have you know the absentee the ones that has absentees father they are not they are nothing like ghanaian do you understand so you see that they, some of them comes to ghana but the struggle is real you can't like they are not the set of people you as Ghanaian but it's okay oh this one is part of us but you can't reject them because they are part of you so this is what i'm talking about education for all so i hope you see my hometown eh? next time next time i tell you about my hometown you got to respect me <laughs> all right i hope that you enjoyed this video and that i will see you in my next one ciao